Hello there, Star Wars fans. I'm Mike, and today I want to do a different type of speculation as I look at the sequel trilogy so far and what it might have been. That is, how it might have been better or worse. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion in the comments, but first I want to quickly welcome you back to Star Wars Speculation, where we love serious speculation, but don't take it too seriously. So what was the biggest mistake of the sequel trilogy? Was it the Canto Bite sequence? Was it making Luke Skywalker a grumpy old man? Was it The Last Jedi in general? I don't think so, but I know some of you feel that it is. I actually want to go back further to the beginning of the sequel trilogy. You see, I think the big mistake that was made was a lack of vision. I don't think J.J. Abrams and the other creatives wanting to bring back Star Wars really respected just how much fans wanted more of the original three, Han, Luke, and Leia. The creators of The Force Awakens seem to be in a big rush to bring in new characters that most of us have come to love like Poe, Ray, Finn, and a host of others. But take a moment to ponder this. What if the focus of the sequel trilogy wasn't introducing us to the new characters, it was actually about reintroducing Han, Leia, and Luke to a new generation of Star Wars fans? And what if this took three movies to do? That's right, an entire trilogy of movies that were dedicated to the rock stars known as Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Leia Organa. Just think about Marvel and the way they've outlined their various superhero movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They really thought about the long game and where they wanted to be. So why didn't they plan out episodes 7 to 12 for Star Wars? Surely they knew Star Wars movies were going to make a profit. And surely they knew the big three would be something people would want to see. So then why didn't we have more Han, Luke, and Leia? Well, this is just my speculation, but I think that J.J. and his team totally underestimated the ability of Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. You see, both of them hadn't been doing much in the way of live-action acting. So I don't think J.J. trusted they could be a big part in a feature film. The thing is, Harrison Ford, even at his age, is a solid and respected actor. I believe he could have carried at least the first movie in this new trilogy, which would have given J.J. a chance to really assess Mark and Carrie's abilities to act. I mean, we all know they did a great job in episodes 7 and 8, but it was impossible for J.J. to know that while planning things out. So maybe at this point you're thinking this is a great idea, or maybe you hate it. Either way, the next natural question is what the heck would the new sequel trilogy story be? And I think it could follow a similar timeline as the current story, but just be earlier. The first story could be about Han, Luke, and Leia reuniting to track down Ben Solo after he trashed Luke's Jedi Academy. We could get a feel for the state of the galaxy and be introduced to Snoke and Ben Solo as Kylo Ren, as well as the growing threat of the First Order. The second movie in the trilogy could be similar to the Bloodline novel, as Han, Luke, and Leia track down First Order supporters and mercenary groups planning to support a First Order invasion. I think this would build a sense of impending doom that the First Order is coming and the galaxy isn't ready for them, and would be a great way to lead into the storyline that we have now as the sequel trilogy. Well, let me know whether you like or hate this idea in the comments below, and what you think the third movie could be all about as well. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.